you've ever been to Rochester, New York, then you know what a garbage plate is. It's a local specialty that we love so much. And one of the keys to garbage plate is what we call hot sauce. That's a meat-based sort of chili sauce. It's actually very similar to Cincinnati chili. It was also, like Cincinnati chili, developed by Greek and or Macedonian immigrants. And it's got a combination of some American chili spices, but it also has some warm spices that they might use in Greece, like cinnamon, allspice, nutmeg. Start off by putting a pot on a low flame. To that, we're going to add some ground beef. Here I've got about one and a half pounds. So we're going to add an equal amount of water. So one and a half pounds of ground beef would be one and a half pints of water. I'm going to take a spatula and we're going to start to break it up. Just kind of get the process started. Then we're going to use a potato masher and we're really going to get in there and we're going to break that beef up into that water so it's really fine. You don't want any large chunks of ground beef in there at all. Next, we add diced onions and garlic. Now we give that a good mix. We make sure it's well incorporated in there. And now, Isabel. She looked like she needed a little bit of attention. So we're going to focus on Isabel for just a minute. Now we're going to add our spice blend. I've got the list of ingredients for that spice blend down in the description. We're going to start with bay leaf. And then we're just going to add all those spices into the mix. Now we're going to stir it in so it's really well incorporated. Get everything mixed in just as well as you can. Now we're going to add about a quarter cup of ketchup. This is going to give us some tomato product as well as a little bit of sweetness from the sugar and acidity from the vinegar. And of course you want to mix that in until it's well incorporated. Now we're going to add about a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Now you want to crank the heat up to about medium high so it can come up to a good simmer. We're going to add a little bit of salt and also some freshly ground black pepper. And now, and this is an optional step, I'm going to add a little bit of beef base. And of course, as I like to do, I want to make sure to get all of the beef base out of that spoon and not leave any for the sink. Stir everything in, of course and make sure to scrape the edges of the pan down so that nothing gets cooked to the side of it. You want all that flavor in the sauce. Once it comes up to a simmer, you want to drop the heat back down to low. You're going to see a pretty good amount of fat, but don't worry, we'll get rid of that later. Now we wait and cook. And cook. And cook. And cook. For about two hours or so let all those flavors combine and come together. I would go a minimum of two hours on this. And if you want to go longer, that's fine. This is a sauce that really benefits from long cooking. After about two and a half hours of cooking, a lot of the water has evaporated, leaving us a nice thick sauce. We're going to want to have a little taste of it so we can make adjustments. Here, I'm going to put in about a tablespoon each of soy sauce and Asian fish sauce to add a nice savory kick. Now we taste it again. We have to add our next ingredient for Rochester hot sauce, and that's Frank's Red Hot. That'll also add not just heat, but a little bit of vinegar kick. There's gonna be a lot of fat on this. So we wanna take a spoon and we wanna start getting that fat out of there as much as possible. So you can see from the bowl that I'm putting it into, there was a lot of fat in this particular package of beef. Another great trick is to use paper towels and you just very lightly dab it along the edge and then draw it across the surface. You're not pushing down on this. You're basically just using the absorbency from the paper towel to skim off as much fat as you can. Great little trick. Oh, don't forget to take the bay leaf out. Thick, rich, delicious, spicy savory, warm, a little sweet. You can have everything you want to go on top of your burgers or your Zweigel's Red Hots and your Mac Salad and your home fries. Delicious homemade Rochester hot sauce that you made yourself. Rochester hot sauce. Do it.